Brisbane today. Call it Brizzy. We're in Brizzy. Obviously, we're quite ready to raise the roof. Three sold out shows in a row, bam, bam, bam. Today, tomorrow, the next day. We didn't get to do the ones in Japan, so I'm very, very ripe to be on stage. Oh, bro. Flights canceled, flights delayed over 24 hours, no sleep. I just got in at like seven in the morning. Now we're ready to rock a show. Picks and then they get fucking straight on command. <laughs> you don't even feel it. I just feel it. So, canceled shows in Japan. Obviously, that sucks ass. We'll make them up, and being sad about that needs to be in the past. In about 30 minutes, actually, we're about to go and rip a fat gig. There's gonna be mosh pits. There's gonna be crowd surfing. This is the one! It's gonna be a fucking good old time, This is Metallica and I'm Anthony, but everyone just calls me Moff. So yeah, we left at about eight. Yep. Spent the whole morning on the road, sit with you. Love technical guitar stuff. It was awesome to finally see something that was a little bit different with the sound, with the tone, those clean tones to get perfect is just next level. This has been months in the making now. And then today on the way to school, we got them to put on their clothes, get their bags and lunches ready like they were going to school, drove them to school and then just continued past it. And then just made them guess as to what we were doing all day long. So for four hours on the way here, and then a couple hours after we arrived, everything we did was the surprise up until the point we walked up to the thing and, and he said, hey, that guy's got a cool polyphony shirt on. And, Wait a minute, that guy does too. And he still didn't put it together until we got to the sign at the Hidden More Theater. I heard that you guys got pulled out of school and didn't know where you were going. Yep. Yeah, I was like really excited when I finally figured out what we were doing. It was just like, I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> we were all really confused. Like,
choke today. Woo! Funny you say that, because I thought I was gonna die I choked so fucking hard. <laughs> well, God damn it. The, the actual day I choked, you saved it. Today... I choked, you saved it. I don't know about I'm <laughs> saving it, but I got through it. That's all that matters. Fucked up OD so bad that I had to pull out the fucking. <laughs> I mean, bro, that's the best, that, dude. Me, that's I'm the up there like. <laughs> that's all you and, do. and you're like, that's way funnier, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, like, what are you gonna do, dude? And I fuck, I straight up two frets above one part. Really? Oh yeah, and I was just like, there's no saving this. I don't know where the fuck to go from here. I had to stop. Luckily, I was able to catch myself and kind of bring it back pretty quickly. set up fully the same. We have a nice big bolt for it, so that gets thrown up real quick. So I handle drums and gober live on stage. He's got a pretty cool setup. Basically, I just make sure everything's in order and that I anticipate if anything's gonna fall apart. Basically, you just have a heightened sense of anxiety about everything, and that will make you a good deck. So the guy's amps go in. We've got a Aguila for gober this tour, and then running Marshalls for um, Tim and Scott, and then we build our guitar worlds. It's a bit tight here, but we've got all the Scott's and Gobas guitars here. Big thing is getting them out when like the temperature's different. It's really cold today, so try to get them out early so they can warm up a little bit. Um, this is our lovely guitar vault, probably my favorite thing of all of our cases. It's got just slots for everything. Some fan art that we got in uh, Milan is in there. And I'll handle both of them sometimes but if I got my hands full, I'll handle Gober as my main. Basically just got a little tuner over here on my double-sided tape for his ramps, the beautiful Ibanez, of course, standard. So during the show for me, uh, I do Tim's guitars and I do the playback. So I have to be able to get to his guitars and to the laptop so I can stop and start things if need be. Tim plays these, guys LA Custom Shop, Pink Custom Shop, AZ Custom Shop, uh, eight string. And basically, I'll have like a little world set up and I just follow the set list and when I know that there's a uh, guitar change coming up. So I'll just kind of go down the list and I'll have my markers. So the song before, I'm kind of getting the guitar warmed up. Sometimes if it's colder off stage than it is on stage, I find super essential. One is this, Music Nomad String Winder. This Peterson tuner, which is, uh, just great. Uh, cotton balls. Just learned that trick. That's a good trick. We drop about like six cotton balls in there. It takes away the resonance without taking away the tone. And the uh, the attack stays. Monitor console, hot cortexes. So that will run automated. But sometimes, you know, you just need to change it and bump onto another patch. And then the laptop and that runs the, the show from back here. Being on stage with them is really fun. Uh, whether it's like guitar changes or whatever, it's just a good energy and we all really, really connect. So it's kind of band and crew um, working as one and I love it. And yeah, sometimes I get to have some fun out there. So. <laughs> Favorite 
favorite song? Goose. Goose. I spent through lockdown, I spent about, oh, I don't even want to say how long, like six, seven months trying to learn the one riff that everybody will know. That one riff and it killed me. I stand <laughs> <laughs> Joke, right? And they tell people yeah. it's awesome, and then like people try it. It's got to be a joke, right? Oh fuck! <laughs> so happened. Oh god, that's, that's an enjoyable. Bro, I'm out here. Oh, fucking god, it's terrible. What do you eat it with? Because I just had a little piece of bread. I don't feel like that's. You like, meant to really put uh, it on toast. Toast. Ah, uh, all those Vegemite and cheese, which you're gonna love. Ah, uh, uh, smell it. <laughs> Brisbane, Sydney, and Melbourne, thank you guys so much for selling this tour out. We love you very much. Can't wait to see you guys again next time. Cheers. Cheers. Oh man, good to be back. <laughs> God damn. Oh. <laughs>